So you mentioned airports, you mentioned ports, I guess this has to do with like you mentioned the scale and the remoteness and the islands. Um, I, I was wondering if we could talk as well on um, the impact of climate change and the importance of resilience vis-a-vis uh, -vis those assets, because there are a few things that our audience may have heard of. Uh, I don't remember if it was not Kiribati who at one point was discussing the idea to, to have the status of a climate refugee, or there was a sort of a right, uh, an alarm to say, well, uh, the, the sea level is rising, uh, our coasts are, are being impacted, there is coastal erosion that impacts as well the, the roads that are on the coast, but also, I guess, the ports. So is that something that you would say is very important for the region, just looking at resilience? And if so, what are the concrete examples of the projects that they can ad adopt as, as measure to try to, to fight, to mitigate, or to adapt uh, from climate change impact? Yeah, well, you're fully right. Kiribati is probably the best known example of a country in the Pacific suffering from climate change. So it's not just about sea level rise, which is affecting Kiribati because it might well be that in 50 years, Kiribati is not underwater, but not habitable anymore. But so beyond the sea level rise, uh, there are also other aspects uh, related to climate change, like um, uh, freshwater, the scarcity of freshwater, because oh, wow. in the, the, the water lenses, there's not that much fresh water anywhere on those islands, but the few that are left are often uh, becoming brackish. So obviously water is a key <laughs> thing yeah. for human yeah. beings. Uh, so it's getting more and more difficult to have access to um...